Hey you guys, Scott Johnson with Property Preservation Project here. Uh, today I want to discuss a topic that is near and dear to my heart because I did it all the time. Uh, and that's called uh, analysis paralysis. And it is it kind of gets to be a pain in the butt. Um, w the big thing is that, you know, analysis paralysis for people who don't know means that you're wanting to do something. You're saying, yeah, I'm going to buy that stock. Yeah, I'm going to buy that property. I'm going to do this. And then you're like, but wait, I have to know more. And I have to continue to know more. And you keep researching and researching. And it just goes into an endless pit to where you never actually do anything. All you do is read or listen and say, no, I can't do anything until I know everything. That's like trying to take a long distance trip from, let's say, North Carolina to California, and you wait for all the stoplights to be green. Crap ain't happening. All right. So it's important to, man, these gnats are horrible out here. I don't know what the deal is today. But <clears throat> so um, just understanding that you don't have to know every single thing. One thing I, I usually like to do is I like to know at least 70% of everything that I need to know. All right. So if I'm looking to purchase a property, I need to make sure that I have a clear, you know, idea on the ARV. I know I need to have a really good idea on repairs, um, making sure to have a cut my contractor go through and let me know and write up a scope of work, uh, you know, cost analysis, all that good stuff. But there's a few things that you cannot know. Like maybe, uh, maybe you forget to um, uh, have one of the drainage pipes checked or something like that, and all of a sudden. You know, that turns out, to, turns out to be a huge blowout. Or maybe you forget to have somebody come by and check out the septic if you're working in an area with a septic tank, and boom, now that's going to cost you an extra $3,000. It's important to account for these things when you are doing your planning. So just knowing 70% of everything that can go on is good enough for you to take action on it. Because we're all going to screw up when we're starting out. We're all going to make mistakes. Heck, even the pros make mistakes. Just don't let that stop you from actually doing something. All right? It goes right back into the fear video we just did. Um, another thing you can do is working with a partner. Work When you work with another person who has uh, you know the same goals but maybe brings a different perspective, that can really help you to move the project forward uh, because, you know, I mean, having a person like me on board would be like, hey, let's go, let's do this. But, you know, you also, I also personally know my weakness is, you know, the long-term thing. I'm a fast starter, but so I'm, I need someone on my team who can step back and say, okay, cool. Well, let's look at this first before we take, make any rash decisions. That's just how I am. Um, and, uh, you know, that's how I work best. Uh, but the main thing is taking action. Take action. You have goals, you know what you want to do with your life, and obviously real estate's a part of those, otherwise you wouldn't be wasting your time watching these videos. So making sure to take action is going to be extremely important for you guys. So um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. I appreciate you. Um, we, uh, Of course, if you are looking for properties, check out our property section, all that good stuff. You can reach me at propertypreservationproject at gmail.com. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.